Hi, my name is Dan Dunn, owner and CEO of Harness Power. I'm here with Sean Cahan, owner of this beautiful custom home in La Jolla, California. We just installed solar on. Let's go check it out. So Sean, why'd you go solar? I have a lot of electricity pumping through this house and I just did not want to deal with like a thousand or two or three thousand dollar payment. It was a pretty easy decision on going solar, especially in sunny San Diego. I also just have like lifts in the garage, you know, like three five ton AC units. Mm. I have 13 feet of refrigerator in the house. Yeah, so you've got outdoor lights for the basketball court, you've got a home theater. There's a ton of stuff to power in this house. We're trying to stay as green as we can. It's not going to be certified green, but almost everything green. California 2035, they want everything electric, so. Mm -hmm. The roof as well was kind of rolled into the pack. There was some old solar collectors on the house prior, so this is actually a full, massive remodel. Yeah, we were able to remove those too. Sean has a tax situation, as most consumers do, where it's beneficial to have a combo deal on one project, so roof and solar a combination. And then that way there's a maximum tax value for the transaction as well. Well, I thought it was good because while I was building the house, it was a remodel, but 97% all new. Crazy. So the benefit on me is time and, mm -hmm. and just having you as the point of contact for like multiple things. My name is Miles Cooper. Island Pacific Builders, I'm the general contractor on the project. Our involvement with Harness has been really great. They've been responsive on all the items, getting the roofing and the solar done together. They worked through the homeowner who hired them to do a whole brand new roof on the whole house, as well as, uh, I think it's up to 60 solar panels around this house. Whenever you uh, finance a project, you actually have what's called a UCC1 placed on the property. And sometimes that'll go on much sooner in the process than we even realized. We actually had the UCC1 placed a little too soon. The bank wouldn't have moved forward on the refinance of the home unless it was lifted first. So it's important to just hold off on fully funding that financing until the refinance is actually passed. That's why I call him Dan the Man. I mean, within 24 hours, we were able to get over. I always say I'm in finance, so speed bump's part of the process. Yeah, one of my favorite features of the house is, is this place. You get this overlook of the bay. You've got the bridge going to Coronado from downtown San Diego. You've got amazing surf spots to look at right here. Sean surfs every day, pretty much. It's a beautiful, beautiful area. Couldn't be happier with the way this turned out for this awesome location.